Okay, I'm going to use the thermal paste uh, solder station and I have it set at 700 degrees. I'll be using 700, 720, depending on the melting point of the lead-free solder I'm using, which is silver, tin, and copper. The reason why we're doing this versus lead is because of the, the uh, in 2006, there was an international uh, code and they said that the lead was contaminating the landfills. So they were uh, set a date of 2006 and anything that is new should be soldered with the lead-free solder. Uh, it could be uh, silver and tin. It could be silver, tin, and copper. And there may be other that are out there um, that you can use. Um, but the whole idea is getting away from the lead. So what we're gonna do now, since we have our solder iron preheated to 7, 720, I'm gonna be soldering a wire, a piece of wire, and uh, it's gonna be, I'm gonna be tinning it. So what we need to do to do that is we need to make sure we have the solder iron and we have it about 700. And if you notice, there is a glob of solder on the tip of the iron. And what that is, is it protects the oxidides forming on the tip. So what we're gonna do before we solder is we're gonna go ahead and clean the tip. Uh, we're gonna use the steel wool to wipe it off a little bit. And then we're gonna use the wet sponge. The, the sponges here are slightly, uh, they're not wet, but they're slightly moist. So they just go on there and just wipe it off until you have a smooth, um, until there's no solder on there on the tip. And make sure that the surface is solder, has, uh, it's all soldered there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a piece of wire and we're gonna trim it to about, we're gonna cut it to about four inches. And we're gonna use thermal tweezers to cut about, uh, about, uh, about three fourths of an inch. Uh, we're gonna strip about three fourths of an inch of insulation off of there. And to use this thermal uh, tweezers, we have a foot pedal down here, so we're gonna operate it so it'll, uh, heat these little terminals here and as soon as they get warmed up I'm going to put about four four and a half on our settings up here it's pulse heat so as soon as that gets warmed up I'm going to put it on the stop put the levers here kind of get it around like that set the tweezers down remove the insulation uh, if you see the, the wire frayed, what I'm going to do is I'm going to twist that with my fingers and make sure that it's, uh, you know, that it's no longer frayed. Usually I use a clockwise, uh, use my fingers to put the wires in clockwise position here. Then we're going to go ahead and mount this on the hands here set that down and we're going to go use the flux we're using a low residue flux um, it's the the reason why we use low residue and not a medium or a high is because it has less cleanup um, the what the deal is is if you use the medium or high flux, you will have to use a uh, denatured alcohol to clean it up after you're done fluxing, uh, you know, after you're done soldering. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply a flux to the, uh, to the wire here. Put that on there. We're gonna get our soldering iron, make sure the blob is off there and we got our nice shiny tinned uh, tip and we're going to go ahead and use the solder the 3 one solder first we're going to put up the tip to the wire and then we're going to go ahead and use 
Uh, we're going to go ahead and put the solder be put the solder iron underneath the wire. Then we're going to put the solder on the opposite side of the wire, and then then it should flow as we drag this along. Okay. I'm going to put a little blob on the tip since I'm going to put it away so the oxidation results can set in. Put it back in. We're going to take it out and the whole idea behind the tinning of the wire is we don't want a blob on the on the tin, you know, where we just soldered. So what we want to do is see the the strands of the wire being soldered. You know, the, if it was if you can't see the strands of wire, that means you put too much um, solder on it. Another thing you might want to look at on a tin wire is underneath this insulation, there should not be any solder. What you could do to test that is you can go in there and if it feels flexy under there. That's good. It's about you're allowed one insul uh, one insulation width of solder underneath it, but you cannot go any further than that. So if, if you feel solder all the way down, then you would have to clip it and do it again. Uh, so, but basically, a good solder joint would be seeing the strands of wire, which I don't know if you could see that, but it's got some little strands in there and it is not blobbed. So it's ready to be shaped. Um, you could put curves in this wire or you can go directly to a part that you need a wire attached to.